please don't mess me up. Really, dude? What's up, everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we got the uh, Pro 4s at Bark River. And hopefully we're going to be doing some barking. Barking at Bark River. Right now we're just qualifying. I'm trying to get pole position here. I'm trying to get a clean sweep of a race. I don't have to deal with anyone. Alright, everyone. So I, uh, I got pole. Not by much, as you can see. But, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a race. I don't know if I out-qualified myself here or what, but I'm going to try and hold on to her. Uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes. So I have full intention of jumping the start. Like, right now, we're going. Green flag, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out to an early lead here. We got a way better corner than everyone else. Yo, what up, everyone? It is me here editing. Um, you know the drill. I don't have any scripts or anything. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about for a little bit here. But, you know, I'm pretty happy right now because my video got over 100 views. And that is just amazing. But anyways, no, such a good corner. Indeed. And that was not. That was the opposite of a good corner. Wow. So anyways, um, yeah, and this, this race was a really good race for me. I mean, I just tried to minimize mistakes, and I executed it perfectly. I mean, I probably made three mistakes the whole race, and that was just... This was like three or four days ago, now that I'm editing this, I just... I've been putting off doing the voiceover for a long time. But, uh, yeah, this was an amazing race. This corner is just always crazy to me. You know, I have no idea what I'm ever going to talk about. Oh, yeah. Today I got, I had to go home, home from school because I had a really bad sore throat and a headache. Oh, man. Oh, he messed up. He messed up real bad. That's what you got to do in these races. You just have to take advantage of people's mistakes and not make any mistakes yourself. And you'll most likely have a good result. Like, this guy was a good bit faster than me, but he just All kept right, on making that's mistakes. that's good for us. Let's go. Yeah, just keep your eyes out on the windshield, and you'll be good to go. Uh, what else can I talk about? Oh, yeah, I... We're doing the Bathurst 12-hour. That's on. coming up. Turn! Uh, and probably... I think it's two weekends from... As I'm doing this voiceover. This will come out the day... Tomorrow. Uh... So, yeah, we'll be doing the Bathurst 12-hour. That'll be really fun. Um, we're gonna be driving the Ferrari. I've been practicing a lot part of the reason why I have, I've been putting off doing this so yeah here I was just putting my head down driving her hard just dominating really I gained some time there now something I was 
like, kind of questioning was the fact that what did I run in qualifying? I think I ran like a f 1 minute 15. And here I'm just running 117s. And I did another race in this. And the same thing. I qualified with a really good time. And during the race I just did not do a very good job. So if any of you guys know what's going on there. Any Pro 4 experts let me know because that is just so frustrating to me that I just don't have the speed uh, what's next oh yeah I think right here this is my weakest corner I always feel very slow in this one that one I hit it pretty good though this corner is just so goofy man I, I need to talking while I'm recording these videos because I never know what to say in these voiceovers this is just a joke but you know maybe I don't need voiceovers let me know in the comments should I do voiceovers or should I just not look at that rough day for him what else what else what else any eye racing news bought the Ferrari today because that's what we're gonna be racing more money down the Jesus. Oh. That's more money down the drain. It looks like the guy behind me messed up. I was really trying to drive smooth, no mistakes. And that's what I did. No mistakes. That little like whale tail thing that jumped weird thing into a corner. That is so fun. It's gotta stay focused here. Yes, sir. What else? What else? What else? Oh, I found my old YouTube channel from back in the day. Like, where I just... I watched too much Roman Atwood, and... I wanted to be a vlogger really bad. And... I went for it. I feel like... Dude, those videos were entertaining. Imagine when I got famous when I was, like... 10. That would've been awesome. Halfway there. Five to go here. I would love to do something like that in the future. Like a... Some sort of vlog. Not like a daily vlog. Not like Roman Atwood did, but... Just like a, maybe like a one-off thing. Like maybe I'm going to a special event. And I'll vlog! No. Let's cut course. That was a mistake. And that's like... That was really freaking scary, dude. Oh! <laughs> That was almost so heart-wrenching. Oh my gosh. That was almost such a bad mistake. Alright, short-term memory. Let's get after it. See, that lost me like a second. Oh, he just messed up again, it looked like. But, no, I'd love to do, like, go to a NASCAR race and vlog it. Because that type of content is just so fun to watch for me. I don't know. I just try and make content that I enjoy. And I might switch back to the editing style that I started the channel with. Because I watched back a video from then. And that editing style was good. But I just didn't know how to do it. Because that was my first time ever editing a video. But now I could really nail that kind of editing down. And maybe that's what I need to set myself apart. Who knows. I'm just really proud that I got 100 views on... Um, one of my last videos, that was, I was like watching it in school, like my view count going up, I was ugh, really proud of that because that's my first ever video to do that, that's cool, I want to hit 50 subscribers, and I really want to get streaming on Twitch again, man, but I, the thing is I don't feel like streaming when I don't have energy. Like, last week, I did not have any energy, so I didn't stream. But, like, my Daytona 24 stream was good. Uh. Yeah. So, my next there stream is. very might well be, very much might well be, the Bathurst 12. But, 
I'm gonna try and get one in this weekend. That would be cool. Maybe a little bit of practice for that. Because right now I'm probably like three seconds slower than I really want to be. Which is a lot of ground. Three to go. Up. Three to go indeed. So. Yeah. Also, I noticed that a lot of my over racing videos get a lot more views than my road racing videos. But I still want to do road racing videos because I like racing road. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just, I just can't really care about the views, but like when I do something cool, like get 100, I can be proud of that. YouTube's a goofy thing. It's a lot, it's a lot easier for me to grow on Twitch than YouTube because this you have no interaction and you're really just talking to yourself. But you know, I'm talking to myself right now. It's just a lot easier for me to be entertaining on Twitch. Pretty bad corner there. It's it's confusing. And you have to like YouTube is just so weird. But I love it. It's a good time. Two to go. Alright. Uh I think I'm gonna let you guys watch this in peace. So have fun, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the video. You got a slow car on the left. Please don't mess me up. Really, dude? Okay, whatever. That was my late race drama. Okay. I'm going to try to give you one more good lap, Chief. Okay, let's not bin it this corner. sketchy section oh my god what is this guy doing now please don't wreck me dude Alright, we made it past that guy. Alright, I think we got her done here. It wouldn't be the same without some last late race drama, but we got her done. That's my my first top split off road win. At least in the yeah, definitely my first off road. Um, top split win, so it's a good feeling. It's a good race. Kind of got dicey with that lap car at the end, but that was just laser focus. I wasn't even talking. This is definitely gonna be a voiceover race. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>